Now at six, a demand and a deadline for Miami's top cop. I'm glad to see the city manager taking a very proactive role uh, in creating a metric by which to measure the chief. A Miami commissioner reacts to making the chief accountable, and a prominent local documentary director comes to his defense. Well, what's the problem? Have we heard a single legitimate grievance about his performance as police chief here in Miami? Tonight, things heat up in the questioning of Miami Police Chief Art Acevedo. Good evening, I'm Lauren Pastrana. And I'm Jim Berry, and for Elliot Rodriguez, Miami City Manager Art Noriega gave the chief until the end of business today to respond to an action plan he sent the chief late last week. A week in which tempers flared at two volatile city commission meetings about the chief's future. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live at Miami City Hall in Coconut Grove with the details. Peter. Well, Lauren and Jim, City Manager Arthur Noriega says the story about the police chief has received national attention, has hurt officer morale and damaged the confidence that the public has in the police department. So the city manager told the chief he had to submit his action plan by the close of business today. City Manager Arthur Noriega is now critical of Art Acevedo, the police chief he hired. He sent Acevedo this letter on Thursday saying, I am concerned about the operational readiness of the Miami Police Department. I believe you lack certain sensitivity training and cultural awareness in regard to this community and its residents. I'm glad to see the city manager taking a very proactive role uh, in creating a metric by which to measure the chief. The city manager requested the chief submit an action plan showing his reforms to policing, a vision of management, improving officer morale, and interacting with the media and repairing relations with elected officials. There's nothing there being asked uh, that would be unreasonable of a, of a manager, city manager to expect of a police chief. If not, to shut his big mouth and to please avoid threatening us. Acevedo's been criticized for saying the Cuban Mafia runs the police department, demoting and firing some officers, and even for this Elvis Presley impersonation at a fundraiser. On Friday, City Commissioner Joe Carroyo claimed he learned the chief planned to arrest him and two other commissioners as retaliation for criticism. But Noriega said... You don't have to fear that. Film director Billy Corbin, who has closely followed Miami politics, is critical of Noriega's memo. Now he's trying to cover his butt. Or he's trying to save... Uh, his own job uh, here because uh, he obviously has failed to do his own job and to do his due diligence. Russell says that is not a fair statement. The, the city commission can fire the city manager. And so that city manager is under a lot of pressure to perform in his duties of managing his team, managing his police chief. Corbin, though, is concerned. The government shut down last week when they spent days on end in a kangaroo court uh, attempting to uh, assassinate the character of this police chief. What's the problem? Have we heard a single legitimate grievance about his performance as police chief here in Miami? Now, we reached out to the city manager but have not heard back, so it's not clear at this point if the action plan has been actually submitted by the close of business today. Meanwhile, Commissioner Ken Russell said the subject of the police chief could come up at the next city commission meeting next week. We're live at Miami City Hall. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News. Peter, thanks. In this footnote, Miami City Commissioner Ken Russell said he'd like to see the city manager sit down with the chief and figure out what happens next. Russell says he approves of the current process, which allows the city manager to hire and fire police chiefs. Some commissioners, though, would like to change that, making themselves part of that process.